When streaming to YouTube, we recommend that you create a YouTube event for each uh, match day uh, that you will be streaming for. So you can see here, uh, I have logged into a YouTube account. I come to uh, YouTube Studio to load this. Come up to Create and select the Go Live option. And you can see here I have no upcoming streams, but I do wish to schedule a stream. So when I click on this, if I haven't used YouTube before, I'll just get the Create New option. Uh, but as I have, I do have this other Reuse Settings uh, option here as well. Um, for now, we'll use the Create New uh, option. And you can see here, it just creates a title for the match. Whoops. Uh, we can make this a public stream, which means that it will stream uh, on YouTube. Uh, but you can also select unlisted, which means only people who know the link can find it. Uh, or it can be uh, private to yourself uh, as well. Um, so we'll go for public now. Uh, we can add a description uh, as well. We can change the category so that other people might be able to find it if they don't know the direct link uh, in sports. We can change uh, the date and the start time. Let's say 1 p.m. start. We can upload uh, a custom thumbnail uh, in here. Uh, I won't do that because it does take a few seconds. And yes, this is fine for kids to view. We don't need to worry about that. Scroll down to the bottom. Uh, and create the stream. Let this red bar finish its thing. And we can see now there's a stream there, a stream event waiting, ready to go. Uh, key things from this point uh, is that you then click on edit to edit any of the, de the details. So if you want to add more detail of like venue uh, or the competition name or something to that, you can do so. Or if you've got the date and the time wrong, you can uh, click on edit to change that. Uh, then the other key piece of information is the stream key. So uh, if I click on uh, this, that will show that stream key, uh, or I can simply uh, click copy, uh, which will paste it, as you can see there, to my clipboard. Come to the PCS Pro software, back to uh, Tools, Configuration, Live Streaming. Paste the stream key into there. Go OK and then I'm ready to start the stream. Again, those prompts about video being consented and not adding to the uh, Match Center yet. Uh, come back to YouTube and we should soon see the stream coming through, which we are. It will take a few seconds to load in the actual preview window up here. And then once it does so, we can right click on that and copy the embed code. Uh, and then paste that back uh, into uh, PCS Pro uh, to be able to uh, embed the live stream into uh, the YouTube, uh, sorry, into the Match Center. So copy the embed code, uh, come back to PCS Pro, or, and come back to Live, and add Live Stream to Match Center, uh, and paste that in here. Now, just before I do finish that off, uh, just a warning about uh, YouTube. So they have recently restricted uh, the ability to embed to accounts that are older than two years only. So if you are setting up a new YouTube account uh, to do live streaming from PCS Pro, uh, then it may not may be that you can't uh, publish immediately to or embed immediately to your Match Center. Uh, but if you have an existing account, then this will be fine. Uh, click Save. And that it live stream will now be embedded uh, on the match center uh, on play cricket.